Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to give my opinion about this You Must Have Amplified TV Antenna. It runs about $29 on Amazon and claims a 180 mile range. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks to TicTech.com for sponsoring today's video. There's a lot of great tech products on their website, including the Tenvis Indoor Security Camera. It features night vision, sound, and motion detection with easy access on any smartphone. You can find the link to the Tenvis Security Camera in the description of this video. This video is a part of my new antenna analysis series where I give my opinion about popular antenna models. While this isn't a direct review of this you must have antenna model, I can assure you I am able to predict its performance. I've tested out over 50 antenna models and installed them in 4TV markets with my antenna installation business. It's very easy to rate an antenna based on the design because of the laws of physics. First, there's no such thing as an HD or a digital antenna. TV antennas are pieces of metal designed to pick up certain frequencies. It doesn't matter if the broadcast standard is analog or digital, an antenna will still pick up the signal as long as it's in the frequency range the antenna is designed to pick up. The whole HD and digital thing are keywords antenna companies use to confuse people into thinking they're getting a special antenna when in reality they might be getting a piece of junk. I'll be quick and direct with this antenna, the you must have amplified HD antenna. It's junk. The 180 mile range claim on this antenna is definitely an exaggeration and in my opinion, false advertising. TV signals tend to fade about 80 miles over the horizon due to the curvature of the Earth. Yes, the Earth is curved. So any antenna claiming beyond a 100 mile range is an exaggeration and probably a piece of junk. It has the same very basic cookie cutter design you see on most flat antennas. While this design may work well for strong UHF signals, it won't work well for VHF TV stations that broadcast on channels 2 through 13. The cord on the antenna is extremely thin and probably prone to a lot of signal loss. How thick the antenna cable is can have a huge impact on your reception as covered in a previous video of mine. The amplifier on the antenna is likely cheap, noisy, and probably makes reception worse. The product has a lot of fancy graphics that make it look like some kind of special antenna. This graphic gives the impression you'll get better picture quality with the antenna. The current digital TV standard uses error correction. You'll get the same exact picture quality whether the signal is strong or weak. The only difference is a weak signal is more prone to break up like what you see here. No specific antenna will get you better picture quality or brighter colors as falsely stated in this graphic. However, a better antenna setup will get you more channels with better reliability. Now I won't completely trash this antenna in every single way. I will say the adjustable amplifier is an okay feature since too much amplification on an antenna can make reception worse. It also has a built-in FM and LT filter that can help if you have interference from a nearby cell tower or radio station. So this antenna may work if you're in a very strong signal area within 10, 15, or 20 miles of the broadcast towers. However, it's not a particular antenna I'd recommend due to the lack of VHF elements and hair-thin coaxial cable. If you're in the market for a decent indoor antenna, I attach links to some recommend models in the description of this video. I'm sure there are some of you out there saying, well, Tyler, how do you know how well it works if you haven't tested it out? Come on, guys, I don't have to waste $30 of my own money to tell you this antenna is not a good model. I've tested many similar design models, and most perform very poorly. I will also take this time to address any critics that say, oh, but the antenna has a 4.3 star rating on Amazon. You just want us to buy more expensive models we don't need. Here's the thing, you cannot trust the antenna reviews on Amazon. I caught many of these foreign companies in the act of sending people the antenna for free in exchange for a 5 star review. 
There's also a situation where someone will buy a junk antenna, scan for local channels, and immediately give a five-star review when they see the HD picture on a strong local channel. They give the antenna credit for the clear picture quality, yet the signal is probably not reliable and may break up in bad weather. Unless you are in a very strong signal area, it's unlikely you'll get good reception with this cheap flat indoor antenna. If you're looking to pick up the most channels with an antenna and the best reception possible, I'd recommend at the very least an attic setup or an outdoor setup. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource. I have dozens of antenna reviews. I also offer antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com where I run a reception report at your location, take a look at the frequencies and signal strength, and make a recommendation on what antenna would work best for you based on my experience testing out nearly 50 antenna models and installing them in four TV markets. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. A huge thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel, all of these folks listed here. Thank you. If my videos have helped you cut the cord and you'd like to support the channel while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.